Hello, my name is David Decker from DeckerWeb and I love to give back to the Elementor community and the non-coder designer WordPress community because I really do. And today I want to show you my newest plugin that I developed in the last weeks. It's called Toolbar Extras for Elementor and it's available for free in the WordPress plugin directory. You can download directly here for free of charge. So this is a brand new plugin and it's perfect for site builders, for non-coder designers that who work daily with Elementor in the front end and back end or administrators of their sites who develop locally and just want to get work done faster and more easy, a lot easier. So let's jump right into the plugin features. The plugin adds a new top level item called build. You can change the name, the icon, and it adds a lot of stuff for Elementor, templates, supported third party plugins for teams like Astra, Astra Pro package, uh, add on plugins, site import, Elementor setting tools, a lot of resources. These are optional, can be deactivated. Uh, the plugin has a detection for local development environment, places a notice, an icon, you can change both of this. And it adds also stuff to the new content area. You can start directly with uh, Elementor Builder here for various uh, post types. It adds Elementor templates here, code snippets, nav menus, uh, the plugin and team installers with more options here. It's really handy and convenient. And it adds also link to the site groups and option, an optional, fully optional development mode with additional editors for more code savvy site builders. And then normally the manage content sections with a lot of post type, jump links, media library, even gravity forms as a smart tweak here. It's really convenient. And also again, third party plugin support here for special plugins. And all the plugin support and team support is fully optional. It's only active when those teams or plugins are active. Otherwise it's not showing. And here it adds a web group instead of the WordPress logo. Uh, these are external resources. It uses the site logo, the, the fav icon. If it's there, if not, it uses a globe icon. Another feature is a special admin menu for administrators for the toolbar. You can build this menu with WordPress menu system under appearance and it just places the menu here if you want. This is again fully optional. With toolbar extras you got a plugin settings page, page with different tabs. It's located under settings in WordPress, toolbar extras. You have general tab with a lot of general settings. You can deactivate a lot of items maybe the resources if you don't want them. You can set icons, uh, have an icon chooser here also search. These are dash icons from WordPress, the official icon set of WordPress. And you have smart tweaks. You can here change behavior of WordPress items in the toolbar that come from WordPress core, also optional for plugins. These are also shown, uh, only shown if the plugins are active and then you can place a setting. Then uh, you can enable or disable the local and development environment here or use the auto setting and the same for the development mode. So the plugin is really handy and as I said, it has team support built in. Uh, I've shown here Astro Theme and Astra Pro. It's also for GeneratePress and GeneratePress Premium. 
uh, with deep links to the customizer for all of those teams. It's also for the Genesis framework with child teams uh, and supported Genesis specific plugins, also deep links to the customizer. And of course for Ocean WP, uh, even the, the premium packages from Ocean WP are also fully supported. And of course, uh, Elementor is supported with uh, Elementor Pro and Elementor Pro 2, the, the, the new upcoming version 2 that is currently in beta and with the new template type these uh, like header, footer, single or archive, these are fully supported already and I will adapt any new features that are coming and again the team support for Astra, Generate Press, Ocean WP, Genesis, also for the, for the default teams, for the whole 2017 and the other 20 teams and also child teams for the 20 teams, a few of them are supported. So you really get a, a full package here to make your work with the toolbar faster, more easy and to get work done. And the, the links in the, on the front end are the same as in the back end. So they are in the same location, in the same place, have the same name. So you have the same front and back and can really quickly jump to, to any setting or to any add-on maybe for Elementor. I have support for a lot of Elementor add-ons, add-on packages that come with additional widgets. It's all baked in and a lot more is coming soon in next versions of the plugin. So this is toolbar extras. If you want to support me, you can donate or give me a five star review on wordpress.org. I really appreciate all donations and all support. And of course, I i am in for the long run here in this plugin and I will support you with your questions. I have a Facebook user group. So just come on, try out the plugin, download it, test it and use it and work with it. And I really appreciate uh, that you watched the video and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers and happy site building with Elementor.